Greetings! In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to use some of the Zoom tools within Zoom. After launching the meeting from your course and entering the meeting, you will see the features listed below available to you. You can mute yourself by clicking mute. Clicking the little arrow will allow you to switch which microphone you're using if you have multiple installed. Same for a speaker to hear your students. You may test your speaker, switch the phone audio by calling into your computer, or leave computer audio altogether. You also have audio settings as another feature. To start your video, you'll click on start video and your video will appear. You also have the same up arrow where you can switch your cameras, blur your background, choose a virtual background, or a filter and as well as video settings. But to just start your video, you will click it and your video will appear on the screen. Next is security. Clicking on security, you can lock the meeting so no one else can get in. Enable the waiting room as a door to your classroom. Hide profile pictures if you wish. You may allow students to share screen, chat, rename themselves, unmute themselves, start their videos, and use the whiteboard. And you can suspend different participant activities by clicking on it, and you can report to Zoom if there is an issue. Clicking on participants opens the list of participants. Next to each name, you can mute, select more to edit profile or if it's your own, rename, or unshare your pronouns if you have them shared. You'll also be able to give host and mute participants in that menu. You may mute all, invite other members if there is another person coming in as a guest lecturer. With the three dots, you may also click to ask all students to unmute, mute participants on entry if not set already, allow participants to unmute themselves, allow participants to rename, play sound when someone leaves or joins, enable waiting room, hide profile pictures, lock the meeting, and merge to meeting window, which adds it to the side of the meeting. You can create polls from here, which brings you to another web page to add polls into this meeting by clicking create, which will be shown in a later video. Chat, where you can chat with the participants, Select who in the meeting you can chat with. In this list, you will see other options within a meeting, if it's just between participants or between the hosts, or no chat available at all. You may also share files and use emojis and other settings. Participants can chat with no one, hosts and co-hosts, everyone, and everyone or everyone directly, which is this button right here. Sharing your screen, you will be able to share any information you have open on your computer. If you click share right here, which is already the first selected option, and click share. This will share what you see on your computer to your students. If you already have a program open and you know you're only going to be using one or two programs, you can click on that program here from the list provided and select share. You also have more options to change those sharing options. To record, you'll simply click record if it's not recording already. You can record to this computer or record to the cloud. Recording, in recording to the cloud, everything gets notified to students that they are being recorded. You can pause from here or stop entirely. And this will be sent back to your eClass course under cloud recordings in the Zoom tab. I'm going to stop this recording. You can click pause to pause the recording and continue. Recording in progress. Or you can stop to end the recording and start a new one at a later time if you need. And it gives you this warning as well. Recording stopped. There's reactions you can share as people are speaking. You can raise your hand, prompt the presenter to go faster, slower, or need a break. Use a whiteboard. and use more options from here. 
Those are the basic features of using Zoom in a meeting for your course. To end your meeting, click End and End Meeting for All. And that will end the meeting for all of your participants. Ending your meeting will also stop any recording you may have and will add it to your cloud recordings in eClass. Thank you for watching.